Whoa. Bad loss. Tough game. Well played game. Exciting game. But boy, the mistakes late in this game are going to be head scratching for a long time in Columbus. Penalties. Missed time. Clock management again. Howard sliding when they only have one timeout. That was bad. Ohio State, I thought, was a better team, but they just made too many mistakes. Howard made a very bad error there. Very bad. He didn't know that the clock was a running clock after the offensive uh, pass interference. Ryan Day and Howard really had some bad mess-ups in this game late. Ah, oh, boy. Defense needs to step up. Defense also made penalties late, Luke. Uh, the pass interference got him inside field goal range. Was the goal, what was the goal in the last play? I don't know. And I'll tell you what, D. Blair, bad loss. Bad loss for Ryan Day. And Howard, you know, it's a long season, so you have a chance to make it up. Tough loss. I mean, sliding? I just And they had a timeout? And you're... To, to run the clock out and have a timeout down one, ooh, bad look. Bad mistakes by the Buckeyes late. Mm. How do they not even look at that? Bro, ugh, Scotty, bad loss. Woo. Frying Ryan Day, frying Ryan Day. He had a bad day, I thought, in this game. And again, like, did he have some moments where the team looked good? Yes, but he's got so much additional help. And for the Buckeyes to be losing like this. I mean, those are mental errors at the end of the game. Clock is running, not knowing when to take a timeout. Howard's sliding on a run play. Very tough way to go back to Columbus on a plane. Burke was burnt. To, yeah, Burke had a bad day. So did um, many others in the secondary. Love Cleveland by I enjoy this as an OSU hater. <laughs> Over else, it was a... Fine day if you're one of those. Will Howard is not safe. Uh, Ryan Day can shoot him, uh, can shoot himself. I'll uh, coach again. He really got some. He did a nice job at the end to get the ball back with plenty of time. But that last drive was clunky. There was a play, too, where Jeremiah Smith slid before the first down. That was weird. There's some weird plays. The guards did win. You're truly Amari. Ah, uh, why does the clock not reset on the offensive penalty? It was an offensive penalty, Andrew. And the guy explained it on the field. If it's an offensive penalty, and the and the guy's on and the guy's in bounds, the clock runs. It didn't seem like Howard or Ryan Day knew that. Ryan Day should be fired. He can't win big games. Defense needs to be looked at too. Defense had some struggling plays at the end, but so did Oregon. Oregon couldn't stop Ohio State. Ohio State stopped themselves again. Penalties. Guards win in Ohio State. Well, they didn't win. <laughs> Jack Bishop. Why the fuck do we have... Oh, Gabe. Gabe. Hey. Come on, Gabe. Travis. Guards won. Yes, they did. What's this mean for the playoffs? It means that the, the Buckeyes now... Better not lose at Penn State. And Penn State just won today in L.A. And uh, they better finish out by winning the whole thing. They got to keep winning out now. Pulled a Dak Prescott against the Niners. That's true. I wish he was for sure the better team. I thought they were the better team today. I really did. But just some mental pen penalties and mental mistakes. Uh, it's fine. Can't bring me down from the guards right now. I agree. Indians saved the day at least. They were great. Anyone can pull up that last play call because it looked like he still had two seconds on the clock. Rally, in my opinion, that was a bad play. I actually don't agree with your assessment. He looks like he slid with one second left. And in a bang-bang play like that, they're never going to call timeout. Especially on the road to save a clock. I don't agree with you, Rally. I thought that was a bad play. Rokio! That's great. John Cooper 2.0. Woo! B. Cato's angry at me. Angry at, at Ryan Day. You have a right to be angry at Ryan Day. Oh. I'm done with Ohio football in general. Uh-oh. Down with football and basketball, says Tegan. I feel like Howard slid before time was up. Zach, I felt like he slid with one second left, and then he stopped with zero seconds left. That was an impossible, impossible play to stop the clock. He was down with a second, and they called timeout. That was ugly. Ryan Day. 
Uh, we'll never win a huge game. Day is a bad coach. Tough. The last, half, the last couple minutes of that game was a clusterfuck. It was, email. They just could not. Penalties all day for Ohio State really cost them on that drive with the field goal. Penalty backed them up. I thought they were going to score a touchdown on that drive before. Penalties knocked them back. They had a really sloppy game at times. Bitter pill it was. Let's go get it. Lane Thomas exists. I agree with you. Lane Train is on the Express. Denzel Bork and Will Howard's clock manager lost us the game. I won't discuss Burks. I don't know if I I agree with that, but I do agree with Howard. Howard and Ryan Day struggled at the end. Guardians did win. This is a Dak Prescott one moment. Kind of felt that way. Again, sliding with one second left is not a bright move. Uh, Burke gave up 250. Boy, he Burke today got burned. Secondary got torched. Day mismanaged that. He did. I agree. Day and Howard did. How's a 48-yarder not an option for that kicker? I mean, what would have been a 50-yard? I don't know. That The end of the game kind of got clustered. I thought they just mismanaged that whole thing. Day absolutely has to know the rules. I agree with you, Oberellas. I'm screaming at the t- TV call timeout right after the offensive penalty. Throw a bell, you're right, and they should have known that. Call timeout. Say th- I mean, again, to end the game losing by one and having a timeout in your back pocket, bad look. Bad look. Why well, when they kicked up a game winning field goal? It's asking a lot of college kids to make that far of a kick. And the pros, yes. And the pros is a given. College, it's tough. Cleveland owns MLB in 24, I hope so. What the actual fuck was that on the final drive? Bizarre drive. I thought there was, uh, again, even Jeremiah Smith on a play uh, sl- took a knee right before the first down. Like, why would you not get the first down? It just doesn't make sense. They had some bizarre plays at the end. He's a college kid. How long of a career is that? Um, I don't I mean, I think in college, anything 45 plus is very tricky. In the pros, it's now 55. Uh, Nebraska winning next week. I don't think they're going to win next week, actually. Oh, she messed it up for themselves. They made it a lot harder. Run the ball and ice it when... <laughs> yeah, I agree with you, Miss Manchat. Jim, he's... Knowles? I'm surprised Knowles is still here. I've not been with... I've not been impressed with Jim Knowles yet. <sighs> Good to see you, Rizzo Gold. So Matt says, Scotty. John Cooper 2.0. Hi. There is a lot of John Cooper feel to this. Buckeyes are a better team. Buckeyes just mismanaged the clock late. Bad loss. Bad loss. Guardians, good win. Let's all get some rest for the Browns tomorrow. Tough pill, Buckeyes. Tough pill. Got to do better at the end of the game. The play before the OPI didn't Ibuka get out of bounds. The clock should have stopped. No, he did not get out of bounds. I have an idea. Don't blitz the top court yet. Robert, I agree. The Jim Knowles needs to be investigated. I roll about the Browns. <laughs> Should be fun tomorrow. What could go wrong in Philadelphia? How do you spend $22 million on this crap? Tough Al. High P.I. is questionable. He pushed off. Smith pushed off. That was a good call. I don't agree. It's just tough when you lose. Chubb back next week. I did, I did hear that. That's what they're saying. Chubb will be back for the Bengals game, which would be good. Let's get some sleep. See you all tomorrow. Mets and Dodgers will be interesting, but not as interesting as Guardians Yankees, baby.